Hurricane Bell is lashing its way across New York's Long Island, creating considerable local flooding and power failures, and is targeting Connecticut and New England. I'm Mike Stanley reporting on the CBS Radio Network. After buffeting Long Island's south shore with torrential rains and winds up to 90 miles an hour, the eye of the storm reached Long Beach, just five miles east of the New York City line, shortly after midnight. The switching port, what weatherman described as a wiggle to the west, shortly before the storm blustered the shore, took the most severe winds and rain away from the eastern Suffolk County areas, which had been alerted earlier to expect the worst. Suffolk County Department of Emergency Preparedness Director, Major Norman Kelly, defined the situation as a hurricane innumerable roads in its way across New York's Long Island, creating considerable local flooding and power failures, and is targeting Connecticut and New England. I'm Mike Stanley reporting on the CBS Radio Network. After buffeting Long Island's south shore with torrential rains and winds up to 90 miles an hour, the eye of the storm reached Long Beach, just five miles east of the New York City line, directly after midnight. The switching port, what weatherman described as a little to the wind, shortly before the storm was to the shore, Can anybody hear me? Jesus! How do you distinguish between something known now and a memory? Actually, you don't know anything at all until you remember it. Because if something happens that is purely instantaneous, if there is a flash, lasting only one millionth of a second, you probably wouldn't really do it. Because it wouldn't give you enough time to remember it.